What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be talking about my favorite MAC-10 loadout and why I don't use the SAS combat stock that you see a lot of players running on their MAC-10. If you guys do find this video helpful or informative, remember to give it a like and subscribe if you would like to see more. Also comment down below what your favorite MAC-10 setup is. So the MAC-10 has been one of the most dominant submachine guns ever since it was added to Warzone and when it initially came out it just melted faster than pretty much anything else in existence in warzone it killed incredibly fast but there have been some nerfs to it and it doesn't just flat out melt or exceed every other submachine gun in terms of dps like it used to and that makes the handling attributes more important than they were in the past because the handling attributes on this weapon the sprint to fire time and the ads time really aren't as good as some of the other submachine guns like you'll have the ones from modern warfare for example we're going to be talking about that later on in the video but those handling attributes aren't as good. When the MAC-10 initially came out, who cares? It killed so much faster that it could overcome that weakness, and that weakness was pretty irrelevant. But as it is now, the DPS is more in line with the Modern Warfare MP5, so those handling attributes being slower could actually be the difference maker in terms of you getting killed. And the attribute that I find most important or most like impacts the time to kill the most is going to be the sprint to fire time because when you're using the sas combat stock you're not really addressing that sprint to fire time at all if we look at the meta modern warfare mp5 build you'll see that it has five milliwatt laser and stippled grip tape both of these attachments are addressing the sprint to fire time and your final sprint to fire time is 95 milliseconds very very fast when you have the mac 10 with the sas combat stock the sprint to fire time is 163 milliseconds. So the MAC-10 has almost double the sprint to fire time of the MP5. And what that means is if you're running around a corner, which isn't always the best play, but if you're sprinting at all in the gunfight, which you're probably going to be doing a lot in Warzone because of how the movement is with slide canceling, bunny hopping, all of those things you need to sprint for. So you're going to be sprinting a lot to like activate your movement in these fights. And if you have a slower sprint to fire time than the MP5, that's potentially going to cost you in these gunfights. So that's why we're going to be using the no stock attachment. What this does is it reduces your sprint to fire time and your tactical sprint to fire time pretty significantly, even more so than the five milliwatt laser does on the MP5. And this doesn't get it to be perfect. It goes down to 143 milliseconds instead of 163. So you're still going to be slower than the MP5, but you're going to be faster than you were otherwise. And what you lose out on here is that really fast strafe speed that a lot of people love with the SAS combat stock. And you can kind of use that strafe speed to address the sprint to fire concerns if you just like strafe into gunfights all the time and you ADS walk into gunfights. However, I personally don't really like doing that. And I just couldn't really ever get used to the faster strafe speed with the SAS combat stock. I felt like I was always just out strafing my aim assist and missing shots that otherwise I would have hit. So if you're someone who struggled with the SAS combat stock, I would definitely recommend trying out the no stock attachment, getting that fast sprint to fire time. The weapon is going to feel very snappy and very consistent, more like the modern warfare weapons. One of the biggest complaints that players have had with the Cold War weapons have been just how clunky and weird they feel. And I think a lot of that is due to the sprint to fire time because you are sprinting around a lot in Warzone and just by activating slide canceling, bunny hopping, all of those things you need to sprint to do. And if you're someone who's a good player, you're probably using your movement a lot in a gunfight. So those delays with your sprint to fire time are going to stack up. And the MP5 is still king in that attribute and like compared to the MAC-10. And that's why I like the MP5 more than the MAC-10. It's just because of how like insane the handling feels. And at this point, the time to kill on them is very comparable and actually very similar. I think a lot of people really haven't looked back on the MAC-10 ever since the nerfs or like tried to use the MP5 again after the MAC-10 nerfs and seen that like the time to kill is pretty comparable now. They just have that initial image of when the MAC-10 was like super OP burned in their mind and they haven't really reevaluated it since. So that's going to be the loadout for this MAC-10. I'm going to be using Agency Suppressor, the Task Force Barrel, the No Stock Attachment, the Field Agent Foregrip, and the 53 round Drum Mag. So it's incredibly basic. I just changed out the stock from the SAS Combat Stock to the No Stock Attachment. And you could use the Raider Stock. The Raider Stock is a combination of both of them. You get that faster strafe speed and you get the faster sprint to fire time. But the penalty for the Raider stock is a very significant hit to your hip fire area. If you don't find yourself hip firing at all, then you might like the Raider stock. But even if you're not hip firing a lot, just the way centering works with COD, having a good hip fire is nice. And 
griefing that really hard on an SMG, I don't necessarily think is worth it. But you might want to try it out if you are someone who's liked the SAS combat stock already. I'm going to let the gameplay play out. Once again, if you guys did find this video helpful or informative, remember to give it a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching. He's in this bathroom. I just saw him clipping through the wall. I messed up throwing my grenade. You see his like shit clipping through the wall? I'm worried that the DMR might get me focused. I feel like people don't respect it as much anymore, so they might be like, oh, this kid's dog shit using the DMR stuff. Blink hearing at a dog shelter and why should he make so many TikToks of the dogs? Ten remaining, keep it up. See, like, this is where, like, see, that kill just gets away from me because I wanted to make an example out of him. That's a, like, range where you have to mount or tap really slowly, I feel like. If I just mounted from the get-go, I could have killed him, but I kind of wanted to show what happened if I, like, full spammed at somebody that far away. Whereas, like, old DMR, you could just full spam, regardless of range. Gas is closing. Get Stay sharp. Yeah, this circle is not something I enjoy. My fucker mounts horizontally. This is so, 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 so nice. We need like paint on the ground like the like an NFL field. Oh, this is last guy. I would have played this so differently. Target area is marked. You're cleared up. This is track three one. What why is my airstrike hitting me? I would have played that so differently. I would have fought him the first time when he jumped out on me if I knew it was last. I just didn't want to get third party. Like, you can't fight in that zone without getting third party like that. I was like,